Hello everyone, my name is Peter and you're watching a devlog about my game Treasured, a temple raiding, museum building, co-op puzzle game. This video I want to take you on the wonderful journey of implementing a generator. Ooh, so shiny. In my case I want to add a vine generator. I want to start by thinking of pseudocode. This is basically a human story of what the generator will do. So when programming, the pseudocode can be translated to code a computer can understand. Which will make the generator work in a game. I will use the left to show you the pseudocode I wrote for the vines and the right to visualize what the pseudocode actually does. First, I want the generator to pick a random position to start from. Then, I want to pick a random direction for that point. Based on this direction, I want to place a new connection at a set length away from the start position. I then want to start a loop and do basically the same, but instead of a random direction, I want the direction to alter a little bit based on a random range. After some time, the generator can hit a wall. When this happens, I want it to place a connection at the wall and then go up. Because of the loop, the direction will change and continue. And when instead of hitting a wall, like it can't grab onto something, it will place a point on the edge and continue forward. There is also a check for when the vine is on a floor and it can't grab onto something so then it will go down, and also when it then hits a floor, it will continue on the floor. This pseudocode and visualization gives me an idea of what I want the generator to do. Even though I don't write them down all the time, I at least take a few minutes to think about it, and maybe this will help you as well. Let me now go into Unity and start with the prototyping of the Vine generator. I will first use gizmos to visualize how the vines will generate, because generating a mesh at this point will be a mess. I started with the start position. I looked at some images of vines on the internet and found that it would make more sense for them to start at the bottom of a wall. So this is what I actually implemented. After this start position was found, I could start by generating the vines. Of course, you have to start from somewhere, and trust me, it will look nicer later on. Well, I said later, right? After a while of experimenting, prototyping, iterating, it finally looked like something. Of course, these gizmos might be hard to read, since it just looks like a big mass of lines right now. It also might look like this took no time at all, but let me just say that it took about 3 days to make it right. 3 days of just looking at this mess of lines. After I was happy with the vine generation, the only thing I needed now was a mesh. So I failed. And failed. And almost? Ah yes, the vines are done. Well, semi-done. There are still a few issues, but nothing I cannot fix. Then after some bug hunting, variable changing, dinner, and some more bug hunting and variable tweaking, I am finally happy with the result. I really like the vines, but I do feel like something isn't quite right with it. If you feel the same, let me know why. If you think it is something else, uh, also let me know. 
since this is a devlog of what I have done so far, let me quickly show you some things I have done as well. I added the option for objects to only spawn on certain terrain. So flowers will only grow on grass and these rocky pebble things only spawn on this stone floor. I also added some more models for the flowers. And I can now add spawn events when certain meshes are used. For example, when this empty brick mesh is used, it will spawn a brick on the ground here. And the same goes for this broken brick. It just looks like the other side fell down. Other than that, I don't really know what to add to this video. Maybe this video came as a surprise since I said I would take some more time for a new devlog. But here we are. I had a burst of motivation and inspiration, so I didn't want you guys to wait. Well, I didn't want to wait to be honest. But the wait will start again, since I have a lot of other things to do. And you know this part. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. And subscribe to the channel for more updates like this one. Also, you can follow me on social media or join the Discord for even more updates. Also, don't forget to wishlist the game. Okay, take care.